And Chicago's annual AIDS Run and Walk is coming up this weekend. The event has raised more than $6 million over 22 years. Joining us now to talk more about it is Madeline Miley from the AIDS Foundation of Chicago, the beneficiary group uh, for it all. Welcome, good to see you again. You too, thanks for, for having me out today and thanks for coming out every year to AIDS Run and Walk. Happy to help, yes. happy to uh, lend some support because uh, while the, the problem of HIV and AIDS is not what it was uh, 20 years ago, sure. 30 years ago, it still is something which requires support and attention, right? Absolutely. Um, it is still an epidemic that we are experiencing here in Chicago, here in the U.S. and globally. Um, AIDS Foundation Chicago is really focused on making sure that folks who are HIV positive are connected to care. You know, they have behavioral health services, housing, folks that are leaving the jail and prison system are immediately connected to care. Um, and also focusing on those who are at risk of becoming HIV positive. Um, so those are what we call our priority communities. Um, we've really left some of our black and brown neighbors behind um, through this epidemic. So now we're really focusing our attention on those groups to make sure they have the health support and care that they need. Yeah. And also uh, for the, uh, the drugs, which have have made the uh, uh, HIV manageable that Absolutely. people can live with, like diabetes, for example. Right. Yes. Um, there have been so many medical advancements in you know the 30, 40 years that we've been dealing with this. Um, we have PrEP now, which has completely changed the game. Um, you know folks who are at risk of maybe becoming HIV positive are able to take that um, and reduce their risk. Um, and we also have new technology, or new technology. <laughs> um, we have something called U equals U. So um, if you are undetectable, have undetectable levels of HIV in the blood system, it is untransmittable to your partner. So that has radically changed um, this landscape for folks who are HIV positive and have partners. Yeah, so that's where all the money goes that's taken exactly. in for the walk and run. Talk to me a, a little bit about what we'll be doing on uh, Saturday. I, yes. know, <laughs> I know that I'll be starting the opening ceremonies at 9.30. Correct. We always do and we warm up the crowd and we have some fun. And a special guest uh, also will be joining us yes. this year. Yes, yeah, so it is a 5K walk, a 5K run and a 10K run out at Soldier Field. Um, it'll be this Saturday, September 30th. Um, you can find all the information at aidsrunwalk.org. But yes, we have a beautiful opening ceremony where you'll be there. Um, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson will be there speaking and addressing um, all of the participants. We have performances. The AIDS quilt will be on display as well. Um, so it's a lot of excitement. Um, a lot of mobilization, you know, getting ready to um, come together and figure out what we're going to do the next year to help us get to zero by 2030. Yeah, it's been, I, I, honestly, I can't remember the last time that a Chicago mayor came to the opening of the AIDS yeah. walk and run. So really it's nice to see that Mayor Johnson uh, will be there and supporting uh, everybody. And, yes. you know, we have so much fun. There's entertainment. Yes. Uh, as we actually start the walk and run at 1030 in the morning, mm -hmm. you can get more information. Uh, we've got it all up for you at AIDSRunWalk.org. You can go there to get information to join us on Saturday, or if you'd just like to make a donation, you can do that uh, as well. Madeline Miley, AIDS Foundation of Chicago, we appreciate you being here. Thanks. Thank you. See you Saturday. See you Saturday morning, bright and early. We'll be right back after this.